everyone, my name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to At Home with Lynn Wilson. Welcome to my home and welcome to my spring Christmas tree haul. And you're going Christmas in spring? Well, that's the name of the store. I don't know if you have one near you. It's called the Christmas tree. It would be like, what would it be like? I don't know what it would be like. I can't think of anything else in my area. It, it has, it doesn't have clothes, it has spring decor. It doesn't have Christmas year round. You would think it would, but it doesn't. Spring decor, seasonal decor. It has uh, paper products. It has home decor, pillows, blankets, and um, sheets and things like that. What else does it have? It has food, like those kind of food items you'd find at maybe Marshall's or TJ Maxx, those unusual things. Great buys on coffee, has a toy department, has a rug department. It has a kitchen gadget department. It, you'll see, I'll put a little bit of a video in this a little bit. It's a great place, they have great buys. So if you have one by you, I hope you go and visit it. If you don't, just enjoy what I got and I'll show you. So they have some great buys on coffee and we have been running low on coffee. And this was $12.99 and you get 24, I think. How many? Oh, it doesn't say, four, no, 24, 42 K-Cups for $12.99. I think that's a pretty good deal. So they have the real big boxes as well, but we got three of different flavors and thought this size would be good. So a single serve K-Cups, again, 42 in a box for $12.99. Medium roast, we got the Kona blend. And then we got donut shop blend. And my husband has already opened that and started to fill up by our coffee machine. And then I got tons of bags down below here, as you can see. So I'm going to be opening the bags and showing you what I got. And I got the Boston, Boston's Best. So somebody had recommended that to me, so I'm going to try it out and see what that's like. This is a breakfast blend. And the other one two, the other two are medium blends, so we'll see what that's like. And then my husband also picked up, and as you can see, he's already worked on drinking this coffee. This was $6.99, but it was a Brazil Cafe. These are usually quite expensive. It's a much bolder, richer flavor. A little too strong for me, but he enjoys that. So you might be saying by the time we get done with this haul, what did she hit the jackpot? She hit the lottery? No. But we have been blessed like many of you with a um, little extra money in the bank account called the stimulus. So we decided to make sure we made a list of things we either needed to get to improve the home, a couple of little treats for us that we wanted to do that we don't normally do because money's, you know, on the tight side. So we decided to treat ourselves and to be practical and get things that we could use. And we had a ball. So, um, there we go. I bought this as part of the housewarming present for my son and daughter-in-law. I thought it was so pretty, the blue and white, and it's a party set for 10. So even if it's not her decor, so to speak, it came with the napkins and it came with the towels for the bathroom, cake plates and dessert plates and the silverware. I thought that was really pretty. So she has some people over for a barbecue or for dinner, or she invites her mom and dad, you know, Heather can use this and really enjoy that. You see some water here. We went to BJ's, stocked up on water. I'm gonna use that as a table. You see the junk that's behind me piled? We are redesigning our home office. I have been on Pinterest. I have been on YouTube. I can't come up with a good home office plan. We're trying to downsize our paperwork and man, I'll tell you, the home office is just giving me nightmares, trying to pull it all together. So that's what's happening behind us. So let's see what else, what did we get? All right, oh, these. this is my husband's idea. So he saw somewhere, probably on Pinterest, where we have a very, very small porch on the front of our house. And he saw where you can do panels like drapery. And I've seen it, it looks quite nice. Um, so this one is indoor, outdoor. And they were $14.99 each, and they are $56 by $95. I love the print. I love this print. And it has the big grommets here like that. So we're going to get the poles to put across. 
and we picked up three of these so that side you can see it better i just think that is absolutely beautiful so we pretty much have done a red white and blue theme on our outside of our home but and we've done it more the vintage red white and blue so i could add red white and blue to this no problem because it has the darker vintage colors so I think that's what we're gonna probably continue to do. So we picked up three of those, so now we have to go find the poles. And we wanna get our front, our outside, we don't use it much. Graham can't really do any gardening because of his health, and I don't have the time between working full time and taking care of him and Gavin and my parents. So we need to keep things simple. So we're going with container gardening this year for vegetables. We're gonna get some silk flowers. I ordered some things Joanne's had 40% off to 60% off and the geraniums. I love geraniums with the grasses, but the problem is we have deer that live in our backyard and they eat everything. They think it's, you know, like soup's on, let's go to the Wilson house and they eat us, they chow right down. And so we really have to go with silk flowers and things like that if we wanna keep things up on the regular to look pretty all season. And you know, it, it's not the way you wanna go, you want real flowers, but when you live with the deer, you gotta compromise. So we're gonna get some silk flowers and then go with the reds with this a little bit and still keep it vintage. All right, what else did we get? Then way over here. Oh, I picked these up. It was 99 cents and you get 12. The marshmallow sticks. I wanna do some roasting in our fireplace this year and roasting. We're not big s'mores people, but I have this image in my head. I don't know, I get these I feel like my mother-in-law, she used to say, I've been thinking, and my husband now looks at me like, what is she thinking about now? And we have a chimney, and we did not use anything all last year. And by the time the summer came to an end, I was disappointed. So I picked these up, whether we go to my son's house and have a barbecue and do some s'mores or do something here at the house, for 99 cents, 12 sticks, I picked them up. So there we go. Oh, I just lost my tea infuser. Man overboard. Okay, look at this bag. It's huge, very long. Oh, these are my husband's treat, his midnight snack. $4.99 for peanut butter pretzels, those little nuggets. So they were $4.99 there. I went to BJ's where we got the water, and they were $7.99. And then I went to ShopRite, which is a grocery store, and they were $5.99. Or no, $6.99 $6 normally on sale for $5.99. So these are $4.99. So that's a really good deal. So we picked those up for the stash. Along with that, we picked up another bucket of sourdough pretzels in a bucket like that. And these also were $4.99. So he needs to keep things. By the time midnight-ish comes, Graham's levels are off a little bit. And just something like two or three pretzels level him off for the night. So we always have a stash by the bed. Okay, then these were to be for Easter. Easter was yesterday. You'll probably be seeing this video a few days after the fact, but I forgot to bring them. So it's the chocolate tuxedo, all the cake, and just one bite. They look yummy. And then I got the classic Italian rainbows. These I love, these are my favorite. So I thought these would be nice on the table and I forgot to bring them, which was fine because I made a poke cake, which you probably saw on my last video. And it was delicious, it was great, it was refreshing. And I was supposed to be in charge of dessert and then I got there and my mother had tons of other desserts. So they would have been wasted. So we'll just stick them aside and maybe invite somebody over. Lady Grey Tea. You probably have heard of Earl Grey. I don't know if, how many of you have heard of Lady Grey. My daughter and I went to a tea room and they served us Lady Grey, first time I ever had it. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. So we are hooked and it is very hard to find. So I picked up a box. I had one Lady Grey tea bag left and I was getting, oh, I need my tea, $2.99 by Twinings. Excellent tea. If you like tea, Lady Grey, it's just got a nice flavor. Earl Grey is a little bit, bolder and spicier. The Lady Grey is a little bit less, but a little different. I don't know how to, how to describe it, but man, oh man, it's good. All right, what else did we get here? Let's see. There's my receipt. How's that? Woo. All right. I picked up three of these. I'm only showing you because I just show you what we got. 
24 ounces spring water. It is a super, super, super sturdy bottle, like a heavy duty bottle, 45 cents for a bottle of water. That's cheap. You know how much water costs and it's spring water. I like the spring water over the purified, but every time we go, I usually pick up three of these because we're on the road, which we were, we went to an Easter egg hunt and a autism support group um, function that was on a farm. And so I picked up those and we had some chips and stuff like that in the car in case anybody needed anything. All right, I picked up these napkins. I just think they're gorgeous. They have a butterfly and the blue flowers and Easter eggs and they're, I shouldn't say Easter eggs, birds eggs, but spring written all over it. So these are going to my mom is just a my love you present. Okay, a couple of things for the outside. Let me grab these here. So I picked up four of these. They're plastic. They're outdoor. And what would you call these? Is there a special name for these? I don't like. <coughs> excuse me. The allergy season is so bad right now. Like the top of a topiary, I guess right, you would yeah. say, right? Mm -hmm. But they're outdoors. So they had, they had one. Was it two or three of them? Yes. And it had it on a black and white ribbon. It was really cute. It was very cute. It was fifteen dollars, and I I was going to get two of them because we have two hooks. I'll have to show you on our porch that come down and I wanted them to hang. And I was like, I really want to pay 15, but I kind of felt like I wasn't paying for it. We were gifted this money. So I'm like, okay, this is what the money's for is to stimulate the economy and to help, you know, do whatever. So I was still like, oh, so we went around the corner and we found these for $3.99. Now the other ones were tiny, the size of maybe, I don't know, baseball. These are, these are nice and big. So I picked up four of these and I'm going to use fish line and probably string it. And the way they had it was like they hung like this. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to have them offset hanging on either side. And we have a faux window hanging in the middle. And then my husband said even just putting them on top of some planters might be nice as well. So I'm not quite sure which direction, but for $3.99, they are weatherproof. They're not silk, they're plastic, but they're a nice plastic. So I think that'll be good. Where's our wreath? We got a really nice wreath. That plastic wreath we got. You know where that one is? It's on the door. I hung it up. Oh, how can I remember? Can you get that wreath too? I'll show them the wreath. So while Graham's getting the wreath, I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff. I completely forgot I hung it up. Okay. What else did we get here? I got some gardening things. So I know the Dollar Tree this year, I saw it on Homestead Tessie, has gardening with the metal. But I was at the Christmas tree shop. I think these are probably a little bit bigger than you would find on um, the Dollar Tree. But they have a nice grip handle. It's a wood handle with a good grip. And then metal. So this would be a, 99 cents, guys. 99 cents, metal. And then this is a smaller one. I don't know what you call them. I don't really know what you use them for. If, uh, you know, you're a gardener, you're probably laughing at me. I know this one is just to kind of dig out the weeds and kind of till the soil a little bit but 99 cents i thought that was a great deal okay graham's handing me the wreath i forgot i hung it up already so this is the wreath isn't that beautiful it is the indoor outdoor indoor outdoor i'm saying it like i know what i'm talking about here oh indoor outdoor but the plastic so you can use it indoor obviously but you can leave it up and you don't have to worry about like it getting pitted or anything or silk where it's going to get funny and it had God Bless America, USA on here. I think it kind of snapped off a little bit. I'll have to re hot glue that here. But it had that in the middle and I like that because we do red, white, and blue for the summer. But I thought if I wanted to, I can always just take that off and change it out. This was $25. I do not spend that kind of money. I do not. But again, the money was gifted. We need some sprucing up in our home for a couple of reasons. Anybody else get kind of down, you know? Life's been really rough the past year for many of us. We have been through 14 months straight now with my, um, 14, 15, 16 months with my husband. He had herniated discs, he had a um, pinched nerve on top of his seizures. He had all kinds of seizures last year, it was unbelievable. And now then we went into having COVID and then from there he developed his blood clots and it's just been like, you know, 16 months of nonstop. And we've been at least me feeling kind of, 
you, you try and smile and you try to keep going and then you get down and and so we decided that you know we can't really do a lot with the gardening but we're going to put some mulch out we're going to hang some flags out we're going to get a wreath or two and just spruce up the outside and make it cheerful so when we sit on the porch and have a cup of coffee and we want to chat and watch the cars go by because we live on a main road we can do that and feel like our house is prettied up and you know you just need that little lift and we're at that point where things are getting old we've been married 30 some years and you know things are starting to wear down and break down and you don't have your bridal showers and you don't have all those things i think you need to have a bridal shower like every 10 years to you know get fresh towels and new appliances but you don't have those things so we decided it's time that we put you know that money aside and spruce up our home we're getting practical we made a whole list like i said what do we need are there any pots and pans that we need any appliances any towels any bed sheets anything practical that we need to apply to our home that we don't normally buy that doesn't fit in the budget we made a whole list everybody got to pick out one treat and my son we went on what was it marketplace right Graham? I think it was marketplace wasn't yes. eBay marketplace yes. and we found two guitars beautiful guitars i'll leave a picture at the end of him holding it let's just say it was under fifty dollars for the two guitars it was a steal it was a downright steal and we bought those for him and that was a treat that he got and we're graham and i are each going to pick out one treat that we're going to get as well and kind of like you know treat ourselves to something special and then the rest of the stuff will invest in the home in making sure we needed an area rug for the dining room we're still looking for that those kind of things so we feel like our home looks good we've invested the money wisely we've helped local you know the local uh, stores out and things like that so this is something that my husband picked up he thought this was really pretty and i agree with him and let me get this right uh, let's see i'm not doing this well here there we go look at that now these are tied together it's a wind chime they're tied together i'm not going to untie them because they'll make a racket and it has a butterfly with some beads and i think that's going to look beautiful out on our front porch so i really like that let me lay that on this chair back here so it doesn't get squished all right i did the water bottles and what else do we have here okay let's see so i have two more of these the green ones oh just this I got for me. So this was $9.99. Look how pretty. Black and white and it's got a texture like an embossing on it. Black on the inside and it was $9.99. And I have one of these. I have it in yellow, bright yellow and it's a tin. I, I love, I love tin. I love metal. Like, you know, the white enamel. Oh, so into that even since I was a kid. And this has a little wood handle, and that's what this reminded me of. Well, I was thinking about chalk painting my yellow enamel one to look a different color. Yellow just does not, there's nothing yellow in my house, but this was the color I got it at a thrift store. But here's what I like. Forks, knives, and spoons, and our cloth napkins go in here. And I like this. We used to put the knives and forks and spoons in a drawer, and it was a pain in the neck, and I don't have a lot of drawer space. And I thought, you know what? We grab that, we grab a plate and off we go. So I have been using this for years and it works better for me than putting them in a drawer. But man, oh man, did I like that white tin. So that's gonna be going in my kitchen. Then I have been redoing my, oh, let me show you this first. Oops. Hang on, hold the ponies. I like these hand towels that you could put in the bathroom so when company comes, they don't have to use your towel that's on the back of the door. And I don't like to necessarily have a regular roll of paper towels. I like the hand towels and they're 99 cents. So these are 20 count for 99 cents and no one else really uses them, just our company, but I like to put them out seasonally. I think it's kind of a nice touch when somebody comes. So got that. Also picked up myself some gloves. I believe the Dollar Tree has gloves like this, but again, I was at Christmas tree shop. This is in our little fund of our extra money and I needed some garden gloves, so I picked that up. So as you know, I've been working on redoing my pantry and yes, I know I gotta get my pantry updated um, with some more stickers and labels and then I need to do a video and show you guys, but 
one of the containers, I only bought one of these. It's $2.99 and it's called Good Cook Food Storage is the name of the brand. Good Cook is right on there. I am in love with this particular, it's like a lock and lock. You know, they, I don't know if you get that brand. They show you like uh, jelly beans on here or whatever. Well, it comes with a scooper on the, and it hooks to the inside of the lid. I'm not going to take it off right now, but it, it, it snaps right in there. It's a nice size. It's 9.3 cups and it's, the scoop is a quarter of a cup and it snaps on very nicely, but it has a grip here and I have like our cereal in some bins and you'll see that when I do my pantry video and these fit nicely on top. They're the perfect size and they hold, it doesn't look that big, but it holds, I got um, self-rising flour and I put that in here and I labeled it separate from my regular flour and it held the whole bag of self-rising flour. I liked these so much. So I bought one and we weren't, Christmas tree shop is about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes from us. Yeah. So it's not like it's around the corner. We don't get there that often, go a couple times a year. And I thought, oh, I'll look on Amazon. Couldn't find it. Looked on eBay. Looked on Google. The good, the good Cook brand has other containers. I could not find this one. It drove me crazy. So I picked it up. I'm in love. They have probably eight different styles. I picked up this one. It's a little bit bigger, and this is 14.6 cups. And again, it has the scoop on it right on the lid. You get the scoop. I, I really, I love, love these containers. That's right. Okay. All right. So we picked up two planters. There we go. And these were $6.99. I think they were on sale for $5.99. <clears throat> and they had it terracotta. This one is more of a brown. And then they had more of a, like a lighter, not white, but sort of a white wash look. Mm -hmm. Container gardening, I mentioned. So this is... I don't know what this is, actually. It says, includes the planter, the seeds, the grow mix, and the detailed instructions. So I don't think like the Dollar Tree, it's more like a pod that you put in there. I think it's seeds, but here's the cucumbers. And then I picked up parsley. I was looking for rosemary. They did not have rosemary, but I picked up a parsley. I picked up two kinds of tomatoes. So I got beefsteak tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. So they're different color bins there. And then the last two I picked up, my favorite flower is daisies. And I picked up, look at the pretty the yellow is on that though. Isn't that beautiful for the daisies in these pots? So I'm gonna try them in the pots and just see how nice, I'll probably have to obviously transplant my tomato plants as they grow, but that's fine, we'll get them started. And I really liked them, and they were um, $1.99 each, or two for $3. So we got the two, so they were $1.50 each. I thought that was a great deal for that size pot, with the potting soil and the seeds, $1.50 each. So and then we picked up the flyer for the Christmas tree shop, and this, they have a big coastal thing going on right now. And let's see if you can see some of those pictures there. That's it, guys. That's what I got at the Christmas tree shop. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, leave a comment below if you have a Christmas tree shop by you. Have you been there? And what kind of things have you enjoyed finding there? If you haven't, if you don't have one, but you've gone somewhere else and you've been picking up some spring items, leave a comment below. What kind of things are you getting to spruce up your home for the spring? Thanks so much for coming by and we'll catch you on the next video.